Hey everyone and welcome to a very special edition of Speak Nerdy to Me where we're doing some movie reviews and today we are going to review Magic Mike Devil XL. I am Koi Take, one half of Team Amazion and my other half right here, Anne Campion. Hi everybody and just be aware if you haven't seen Magic Mike, it is a spoiler review. So I don't... Spoiler know. filled. There's going to be some spoilers, but a I was lot. just going to say, I don't really know how much you could spoil this movie. I mean, how can you <laughs> not talk about Dick yeah. in this movie? And that's going to spoil it all because that's pretty much what it was. So yeah. that being said, um, overall thoughts of this movie, Anne? Um, I would say it was very entertaining. I liked it uh, better than the first one. Mm-hmm. I thought it, I was much more engaged. And I think they, the, the filmmakers kind of knew what was what worked for them mm-hmm. in the first Magic Mike and kind of took it to the next level yeah. in this right in this version yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, sorry guys okay, <laughs> okay. um and uh, yeah so I, I thoroughly enjoyed it. i had a good time with you and keisha yeah. like there was a lot of females in the theater obviously but there were some males too and i think everyone had a good time so overall i thought it was a fun movie it's pretty much like going to a male strip club yeah it's really what it is for it's just pure entertainment there's um no story value in it for me and that's fine i mean obviously they're gonna have to put a story and make one to mm-hmm. keep the flow going or it wouldn't be really a movie but i thought it was good i enjoyed it i had a good time i would recommend it for people who feel like watching a light-hearted movie nothing serious yeah. um nothing crazy nothing intense and if you like people dancing and if you like um people having funny puns and mm-hmm. just ridiculousness then you'll enjoy it even a man can enjoy it yeah yeah you know? i would think so okay so Let's talk about some of our positives. Sure. All right, and Me uh, first? Sure. Okay. Um, well, obviously, <laughs> hot men. Uh, no, there's no hot men. <laughs> Super hot guys. Mm-hmm. Um, and new characters, too. You know what? The first thing I'm going to start with is... Um, Twitch. First positive I'm going to start with, as you're distracting me, <laughs> so, um, <laughs> is the fact that they did not forget about the story from the first yeah. movie. Yeah. And that they made it a point to mention, you know, Dallas is gone. He took the kid with him. And there wasn't any questions asked after that. You know, yeah, you weren't you weren't missing Matthew McConaughey's character for, for a reason that I'll bring up in a minute. Mm-hmm. Um, and you knew where Alex Pettifer's character was, yeah. too. So there was they were just like, let's just nip it in the butt right at the beginning. And that I, was a positive. And hopping on that, I'm, I'm not going to lie. Alex Pettifer was probably the least, my least favorite character in the first movie. Yeah. So not missed very much. I was like, why is he the one that's supposed to be like this up and coming male stripper when he doesn't do it for me at all? He I agree. Like, mm. I totally agree. He wasn't, he, his just everything about him, his personality, everything. Channing is really the guy yeah. who's supposed to lead this movie. Yeah. And in this, and, and another positive would be that Channing really did become that person in this, the second one. Yes, which was great. And then, you know, you, he got like all of his supporting cast mm-hmm. was excellent. I mean, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, one more positive. They're all pretty to look at. Um, what else? What else? All the dancing I thought was, was another level mm-hmm. step above the, the first movie. Um, good music. Great Good dancing. Music. Jada Pinkett, I think, yes. is a major plus. Yeah. Uh, that role was initially written for a male, but then they went with Jada, and I think that she just fit the bill so well. Mm-hmm. And for some reason, it, it felt like I can relate to her. And like when she was talking about Queen, yeah, yeah that's right, I'm Queen. I'm, I'm at queens. the strip club. I'm at the strip club. I yeah. know. You know, you felt she like made you made everybody feel good. Yeah, you completely engaged there. Mm-hmm. And like, I like it. I she like killed it. it. She really did. I, I would say actually that she is like my number one positive out of anything. Of the oh, film. okay. That's, I thought that's, she did so well in her role. That's fair Mm -hmm. i I agree with you she was really good yeah um other positives i mean it was just fun it was like a hangover light you know not that crazy but they obviously went through stuff um that that obviously had obstacles to make their way to the strip convention and by the way guys if you know where a strip convention is please let us know or if you guys know where there's a house full of strippers and uh, Jada Pinkett Smith, let us know. <laughs> yes, that was amazing. That was really cool. We are on the hunt for either of those two things because it just looked like such a good time. Mm-hmm. And for those of you that follow us, you know that we have our favorite strip club in Las Vegas. Oh, gee. And so the ones that they had in the film just looked like a lot of fun. Like yeah. just a good party. Every all the females having fun. No cattiness. Nothing. Mm-hmm. Like just good time. Yeah, um, I agree. So let's talk about some of our negatives. Sure. 
Uh, I guess I'll go first because, you know, I always make you go first. Okay. Then you go me first, then I go yes. <laughs> uh, my negatives is, uh, I think, like, the final dance, not the final dance dance with Channing and Trist because that was amazing, but how everyone had their solo and they decided to go their, do their own thing. You think you would imagine that if they're going to do their own thing and do something they're passionate about, they'd be better dancers for it. Mm. But they were not. Like, Kevin Nash just decided not to dance at all. <laughs> and he, like, drew a couple sketches and, like, a girl got turned on by that. And I was like, that is not credible. <laughs> all right? If I went to the strip club and a guy drew a little bit on a fucking canvas and decided that that was his strip tease, I would be really disappointed. <laughs> I would, you know, I, I would have to disagree with you. I think part of the, what I liked is <laughs> that they, they showcase that these dudes can't dance. Fair enough. And they let them be their individual, like, performances. But I can see what you're saying, yeah. though. Yeah. Because they never actually came together at the end, either. No. And they're supposed to be a unit. However, they decided to separate everybody's performance at the at the last... Yeah, and, and it was a performance that was made for, like, whatever they're passionate about. Yeah. So Kevin Nash has sucked. Sorry. Um, <laughs> um, Adam Rodriguez you guys was like, I don't know what was going mm, on there. Like, he wants the candy shop. I and know. If, he, if he put chocolate syrup on me, I'd be pretty pissed. <laughs> well, because I think at the end of his performance, didn't he just like spray all yeah. his faces and stuff? Yeah. I would have been mad too. Yeah. But you know, Matt Bomber, Bomber did a good job. Yeah, he did. Oh, he has such a good voice. He's really good looking oh, too. Oh, gosh. Yeah, the Ken doll. And I, I do like, this is a negative, I mean positive, is that everyone has like their own distinct character and I like, Pull, ties them all together by mm -hmm. chanting. Yeah, that's that's cool. Yeah, there's a real strong camaraderie, mm -hmm. and you can tell. You know, there were probably some scenes where they just kind of sat the guys together and said, "Just talk." Yeah, you know, because that's how it felt. Mm -hmm. It was just a natural conversation that was happening. Um, and uh, man, I keep thinking of positives. Okay, I'm gonna go <laughs> back to positive again. I think that um, I liked that they didn't cross the line with Amber Heard, where they would make it a love story. They just yeah. tease it a little bit. That was cool. But then I'm going back to the negatives, and uh, there's a lot of things in her. Like I felt like her character was kind of unnecessary mm -hmm. in its totality, where he's peeing and she's having this co flirtatious conversation with him. Who does that? So awkward. No one would do that. Like yeah. take a picture of someone while they're peeing. It's just no. Like now they're trying really hard to make this eccentric chick come yes. out of nowhere, and that they, just kind of bothered me. That. I agree. Yeah, that was the one thing. Like you really didn't need this character in in here. Well, and it's Amber Heard too. Like I'm so sorry, but I think she's so beautiful. Oh, and she is. How did we not like get to see her? Okay, this is just me being selfish. I'm like, how come she didn't get naked too? Like the guy. Right. Like, <laughs> um, but yeah, they like try. Like you said, they tried to make her so eccentric that they tried to like put her in just like such a weird fashion and that yeah. she's a photographer. The character just wasn't believable to me. Exactly. Even like the lines that they they gave her to say, I'm like, really? No. Yeah. Come on, this is dumb. Yeah. And like someone of like her body type eating a fat ass red velvet cake. Oh, come on. <laughs> and her being the the outcast of the friends. Like, yeah. I, I don't know, it just didn't fit for, I'm sorry, but like just knowing Amber Heard and yeah. the other roles that she's had, it just didn't fit with the way she looks. I, and yeah. I hate to say that, but it just didn't work for it me. It didn't work for me either. And I, I would love to see her um, in a more prominent role in this movie. Um, mm. The best part with her was the end. That was great. Yeah, was she was, lucky enough she got to be that one. That was really cool. That that just a that predictable. Performance, Channing's but, performance was, yeah. was pretty hot. Um, I would say, for me, the, the other negative was there was I don't know if you noticed this, but with the exception of and this is going to a positive then to a negative, of the way that they shot some of the performances and it felt like you were in the crowd. Yeah, uh, they, that what that's different than what they did in the first one where it was clearly a movie the way that they shot it this one like they got down to the level okay. they even had their natural like a um, uh, volume of their microphones so that's on. negative for you that's a positive oh okay, okay but then when you get to like a scene where they're at that uh the mom's home uh -huh. and it just threw me out of the game when they would focus on somebody's face and they weren't talking yes that's really good but they did that a lot with amber Heard. Yeah. it was like they just wanted to put in a beautiful woman and just 
She was just staring and Channing Tatum's telling his story the whole time. It's like, come on. It was shot really odd. And especially that scene, it was so noticeable. And they would focus on like somebody that wasn't talking at all. Yet you can hear the person who's actually having the dialogue in the background. And if you guys see the film, you'll know exactly what we're talking about. Mm -hmm. It was such a weird the directorial choice yeah, I guess I thought it was really strange I don't well. know if they were trying to be creative or what they were trying to do there but that whole like I would take that whole scene out I would just throw it into trash yeah because, thanks for pointing that out because yeah. that's something I, I was thinking in my head and I'm glad I think I we looked that. at each other during that whole part like, like what? what is going we on didn't. It's yeah. that, it was that obvious. Amber Heard's really mad she's messaging us right now. Yeah, she, <laughs> she kind of is. She's like on Facebook. Um, <laughs> and then one more thing, and then I'm going to go back to the positives. See, I have more positives than negatives. Is mm-hmm. that I like this, all like the, you know, featured stars in it. Yeah. And McDowell. That's true. Um, Elizabeth Banks. Elizabeth Banks. Yeah. yeah, it was cool to see all those. Uh, and again, Jaded. I thought Michael Strahan was the worst stripper ever. <laughs> like, was that him? That was yes. him, right? That was so awkward when I realized it was him. I was like, um, <laughs> he's a bad stripper. But then let's go to the great stripper. Tris? Who I think outshined everybody. Ugh, he was better than Shannon. Oh my gosh, that guy was amazing. He does this thing. I'm like, oh. Yeah, you know, <laughs> you know, yeah. you're like, mm-hmm. I'm like okay, dollars, <laughs> all the dollars, dollar, dollar. Just... <laughs> oh wait, dollars, game over, <laughs> dollars, <laughs> take John money, yeah, <laughs> um, yeah, anything else, um, negatives, positive, no, I think, I think that's it, I mean, yeah, we, we pretty much covered Magic Mike, yeah. we'll go see it if you just want to just enjoy yourself mm-hmm. and uh, let us know, comment below what you thought of Magic Mike uh, and yeah, don't forget, rate, comment, subscribe and you can also find us at www.teamamasian.com or send us an email at teamamasian at gmail.com and also in separate entities, uh, Kaorius right here and and Campia over here. She's looking for more <laughs> thirds, but it's okay. There we go. There we go. I'm catching up right now. There you go. There, there you is. go. There you go. And and Campia. There Yay. you go. And yeah, and follow us again on Twitter. And uh, we'll catch you very soon for some more speaknetting. Bye.